to give a large party for all the lords and ladies in the land. They also invited 12 wonderful fairies who gave her magical gifts of beauty and joy and love.
the bottom of the ocean, where I am the king. You are welcome. What can I do for you so that you will have a good time here? Do you want to visit Davy Jones's locker? No, thanks. I just have fun wandering around here. I want to shake hands with the octopus. pipe in peace. Untie my arms or I'll wrap them around you and squeeze you to death. Oh, I'm not afraid. You're not a baddie. You're a goodie. I know you are because you smile so cheerfully. The sea creatures are anxious to meet you, and we don't have visitors often. The mermaids like you too. Oh, he's such a darling little boy. Come, give us a kiss, Dunny. My, my, we pretty tail. Oh, yes, we are the tops of beauty. When someone on earth wants to compliment a woman, they say she is as pretty and as graceful as a man. Now you must meet my favorite sea creatures. They are used on Earth as models of comparison to. Each one will come up to meet you. Sure, I fall up down here. But there are more blowhards up there, I guess.
She and her boy are wearing war paint. They don't like pale faces. We do. We'll show you where the stagecoach stops to take on passengers. It will take you out of here. Hurry now. That Indian boy is aiming his bow. He might shoot you. Let's go. The bands are warming up. The crowd's warming up. Everybody's pulse is beating just a little bit faster. Come on, parade, let's go. pinching Scrooge. He's here to wish us a happy day. And there he is with Tiny Tim on his shoulder. I think he's mended his ways. Yes, he's smiling. The Christmas stocking. Why, don't you wish you had a stocking like that to hang up on Christmas? How could you ever take all the toys out? I think they'd fill up a room.
when he runs down the clock. Do you think the chimes scare him? Could be. Oh, there he is running down. Maybe he'll run into his little hole and sit a while. Take one. King Arthur is about to make you one of the Knights of the Round Table. You may now go out and rescue any fair damsel in distress. You may now go out and slay any dragon you wish to stray. You're a member of the Round Table, so slay that dragon. A thrilling tournament. Yes, Sir Arthur has commanded a tournament. Sir Lancelot and Sir Boers will fight. Who do you think will be the winner? I think Sir Lancelot, for he is the truest of them all. Yes, the truest of the round table. The table is round, so that no one can have a more prominent place than the other. And the tournament is gay, for all the beautiful ladies are waving their handkerchiefs and wishing their knight well. Well done, Sir Lancelot. Well done. dressed up for the circus. I'm sure he could do a hundred tricks. He's doing one now. Yes, he's kneeling on one leg. That's very difficult for a horse. Yes, and I see three lovely plumes in his hair. Have you ever heard the expression, all dressed up like a circus horse? Well, it's all right for a circus horse. I'm sure it's a compliment for him. Right behind him comes a parade in itself. The train's so long, it's a train of elephants. I think Jumbo must be the leader. Yes, one, two, three, four, six and all. So gaily colored. One hangs on to the other. Otherwise, they wouldn't know where to go. It's like, a giant, and a giant, and a giant. 
or a mama and her great big family. You see, only lady elephants are allowed in the circus. The males are too wild and would run around, perhaps into the audience. So just the mamas and their babies are allowed to parade in the circus. They're so gay, so friendly, and such a long line. What's on top of them? Dogs, poodles doing an act, aren't they, darling? I wonder if your own poodle at home could stand on its hind legs. I think he could. Look at little Bimbo there, the end. Isn't he cunning? He's hanging on for dear life. There he goes. Bye, Bimbo. of them all. He's silly because he's crying. And why is he crying? Because he ate all the oysters. He promised to take them for a walk by the sea, but he ate them instead. proud fellow this griffin must be. What a strange nose. He looks like an eagle. He looks like a griffin. Does he look like a horse? Yet, somehow he's a very regal fellow. He comes from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Fancy, he has an invitation to the Queen's party. Yes, he's bringing the invitation to the Duchess. That's why he's in such gay array. And do you know, he came to a house and said, speak roughly to your little boy and beat him when he sneezes. He only does it to annoy because he knows it teases. That white rabbit must be very late for a very important date. He doesn't seem to be hurrying, though. He carries his Glock. A cuddly bear. Oh, I'd like to take him home and squeeze him. I think it would take five of my teddy bears to make him. Well, well, if it isn't Miss Hippo, crowned with flowers. Do you know that once on a windy day, Miss Hippo got up and blew away? She did, you know, over a house and over a tree. It's not a joke. Just ask me. Here she comes, closer and closer. I don't think she'll bite, though. She looks so friendly and gay. All right, Miss Hippo, don't blow away.
too long. Too long. Yes, for me. Don't wrap around me or anyone else you see. I'm glad to see your tail pass by. A leopard. And his mouth is wide open. He's ready to spring. He's looking for prey. Do you know leopards travel at night because they sleep in the day? They're from the jungle where it's very green and very warm. They're very tricky fellows. They climb in a tree and see their prey pass by. someone to marry us. And here he comes now, the marrying turkey. Who else? I see he has his book and his hat in the right place. Yes, he'll marry us. And after that, we need a ring. Well, we'll go to the piggy wig. He has a ring on the end of his nose. I'm sure he'll give it to us. He'll be much happier without it. He's a very generous fellow indeed. And so they did marry, have a ring, and sail away for a year and a day to the land where the bong tree grows. Have you ever read that poem? It's lots of fun. Just as much fun as this fat piggy wig that's passing by. with a bagpipe. Have you ever heard the sound of a bagpipe? I like the sound. Some people think it sounds strange. Yes, strange indeed. But once you're used to its merry tune, you'll enjoy it as much as this thrifty fellow does. About a truckload of crackers? 
Polly was very smart to come to the parade today. Perhaps someone will feed him a few. Perhaps you. Now, I'd like to play Seesaw Marjorie Daw. Johnny will have a new master. With these people, why, four children can't even balance the weight of Humpty Dumpty. Humpty's giving them a great ride. They look like they're having a good time. Humpty looks happy. The bulldog, so wide. He's almost as wide as some city streets. He looks fierce, but he doesn't frighten me. Grenadier Guard, I salute your giant bear cap. And attention, how straight, how strong, how tall. You may protect me anytime, but I suspect your job is to protect the queen. Pockets, did you come all the way from Australia to visit us today? Australia is a long, long way away. And your little Roo, that's what you call your baby. Your little Roo sits in your pocket so content. He must be enjoying the parade. Oh, my stomach hurts. I've eaten a triple decker. Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Oh, oh, I think it will take me a week to get over this one. By baby bunting, daddy's gone a hunting to find a little rabbit skin to wrap our little baby in. How nice of daddy to go stalking through the wood to find a little rabbit skin to keep our baby cozy and warm. Daddy's a great hunter. He always comes home with a prize.
circus lion. You're performing for us now. Your trainer must have sat you in that position. Don't move away. Why, two heads are better than one even for a cat. One can be gay and one can be sad, all at the same time. You're truly a circus freak. <laughs> The wild cat. The Indians knew you well. You are still in our deserts. You stalk and prey. Wild cat. You look like a sweet little cat. But you're big, you're strong, and you prey. I wish all the Indians were here with their bows and arrows now. race at all. I'm sure the tortoise will win today. That hare's eyes are closed. And soon, the tortoise will catch up. He'll plod along and win the race today. Yes, the person who plods usually does win. Santa is taking his elves around by rocket ship now. I think he picked this group up in the South Pole. They want to make toys for the children, too. This is modern travel. like this? I do. Now, the treat for all of us, Santa Claus. We've been waiting a long time for you, Santa. We can't wait to wave. Dear, a Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.
now that we have had such an exciting time in Balloon Land, I'm going to play a guessing game with you. Different figures will be on the screen. If you know their names, yell them out. If you don't, yell, yay, yay. Do you see the dog? That's an easy one. Come on now. Bow wow. Bow wow. That's it. Try it again. You know, after the cat and the rat comes the cheese. I would say, phooey. Yell, phooey. Look at the weirdies. Here comes the lobster. Yell, ouch. Ouch. He's pinching me. Ouch. Come on. The leopard. Yay, yay! Hi, boys! Yell, hi, boys! They need some encouragement. Ah. Uh, here comes a hippo. Yell, hello, fat hippo. Fat hippo! The band. Hi. Hi, boys and girls. Polly wants a cracker. Yell crackers. Yell crunchy crackers. Come on. Crunch your teeth. That's it. Crunch. I think I see Humpty Dumpty. Hi, Humpty. Come on, the band. Yay, yay. Yay, come on. Now yell boo-hoo. Someone has lost his balloon. There's Sonny. He's saying boo-hoo, too. Come on, let's clap. Here comes the band. Come on, clap. That's it. Clap and stamp your feet. Come on, in time to the music. Come on, clap along with me. Sonny's yelling hi to the band. He must be clapping, too. Every time you see the crowd, you can wave. Oh, up and down, up and down in your chair with Sonny and his friend. Come on. You're not tired yet. Come on. I told you. Yay, yay, or wave to the band. Hi, girls. Yo, hi, girls. Hi. What high steppers. Come on, they need encouragement. They have a lot of horns to blow. Come on, let's go. Toot, toot. Oh, let's wave. Wave to your screen. Please wave and say goodbye to us. We love you. And we'll see you soon again from Balloon Land. Now wave goodbye. We miss you. Ready now, we're going to sing our closing song. Are you all in voice? Hmm. You try a hmm. That's it, a little higher. Thank you.